So last time you guys were here, I was just finishing up the seats, but now as you can see, I've got the uh, refrigerator in, and there's some storage cubes below, and the sink base cabinet is in, and I'm just working on putting it in the sink right now. It's uh, drying, the silicone's drying underneath. Same with the countertop. Propane tank's just sitting in place, it's not installed yet. And I also put the diesel heater in. I haven't finished the vent work yet. Um, that's all gonna get boxed in, cleaned up. But it's really starting to come along. I've got the tankless water heater and shower in the back there. And the bed's in. Got some plastic over it right now, and the TV's in. So we're getting pretty close to being done now. So I've made this bracket to hold the base of the gray water tank out of some steel that I cut down from uh, Home Depot. Some lock nuts and washers and everything. Uh, and then uh, I notched away here for the uh, uh, drain pipe, which is a little bit lower than... Uh, it's actually going to go like this. So this is how the tank's going to sit in the uh, base. I've notched away here for the drain pipe. This one won't be used. This will be the air vent, and this is gonna be where everything fills into. So I've just got my clamps reversed so I can hold this in place. You can either use clamps like this or if you have a, like a car jack, those are helpful too. And uh, my plan is to use these brackets here. Like that. And then I'll add another bracket over here, and then I can connect those with some strapping. And then I'll do the same um, here and over here. And then in the back there, of course. So now I need to drill some holes through here so I can fit this bolt through these brackets. I've already done it on this side here, you can see. So I'm just uh, screwing it down to a piece of scrap wood here, and uh, that way I can drill through it. So this is how the brackets are going to sit. And then um, I have this metal strapping which will attach to the bracket that I have to cut down and then attach to the frame of the van. So I've got these thick two inch metal self-drilling screws that are galvanized so they won't rust. And I've attached uh, the bracket to the frame here. This is gonna be the first one that really sturdy. So there'll be one going across, one bracket, and then another bracket coming this way. That should lock everything in place. Back under the van here, this is the drain pipe for the sink. And this is gonna be the hardwired P-funnel, <laughs> which is gonna drain into the gray water tank. And then I'll have another piece coming out here. And then this piece here and then I'll have a flexible tubing that has to make kind of a hard 180 degree turn and come back into the tank and attach here. Very tight space here. Very little room for error drilling these holes and everything. Um, but hopefully this is going to fit. I need to uh, measure this piece. It's going to be a little longer than this. But I'm going to test it out now. Doesn't look pretty, but it's all sealed up now with the lap sealant. Everything's connected. So now it's time to put the tank up. All right, so this is up now. It's screwed in over there. And with the, um, the, the clamps that I had pushing it up, uh, the way I screwed it in, this thing already won't move. I don't even have, uh, I don't even have these brackets in yet. I can't move it at all. This thing is solid. Uh, but I think I'll still add these just in case. Um, this thing's definitely not moving. And from the outside, you can't really see it. It's pretty high up. I'll show you what that looks like. 
You really can't see the tank until you get down really low. Down, down to there, you can see it. So I ended up uh, just going with some half inch PVC here to make this turn instead of doing the flexible hosing. Uh, flexible hosing wasn't going to work, it kept crimping. And I've attached this um, electronic valve here. Just have to connect the wire to a switch. And uh, this is pretty cool because I'll be able to just flip a switch inside and drain this when I'm somewhere uh, appropriate to drain it. Um, I'll put a link in the description for uh, the electronic valve. It's 12 volt. Really cool. Uh, so that's all connected and that'll just drain out of here. And uh, I might just have to connect the air vent going up and uh, put the last bracket on here and in the back. And this tank is done. So oftentimes instead of wasting a drill bit, I'll just use one of these uh, self-drilling screws to um, pre-drill the holes for the bigger screws and it's pretty tight getting in here so I use my um, angled drill bit which really helps um, I'll put a link for this in the description below pre-drilled and it'll be a little bit easier to get the uh, thicker screw in there now. Okay, so everything's connected and working. No leaks. Uh, you can see here I used a, uh, a trap, which uh, will keep any smells coming from the gray water tank from coming up the pipe, because there's always some water in here. And then we've got our P funnel here. <laughs> And I also put a uh, valve on this so that uh, when it's closed like this, uh, there won't be any smells coming up from the tank either. So I drilled a hole for the wire right behind the cabinet there. And it's coming down, going into a drain hole that was already back here that I just expanded a little bit to get the wire out right here and uh, now I'm just putting some connections on them which will melt down to make water tight May not be pretty, but I think that'll hold it. And now I'm just gonna tack this wire up. So I ran those wires um, into the uh, seat here, into this box. And this um, electronic valve requires a double pull, double throw switch, which looks like this, um, which I've never used before. <clears throat> so, um, let me show you how to wire this. It's kind of complicated. The reason you need this type of switch is um, you can see here I have the um, positive connected to the negative, positive connected to the negative. That um, will allow the valve to open. Um, this is basically reversed polarity. And then when you connect the positive to the positive, and the negative to the negative, uh, that'll close the valve. So that's why you need this switch, which has uh, six terminals here, so that um, when it's flipped in one direction, it'll flip the polarity. And uh, let me show you how to wire that now. 
Okay, this is the positive coming from the fuse panel, and this is the negative coming from the fuse panel. And those two wires are just gonna connect to the two middle terminals here on the switch. Uh, so you just add some terminal connectors. And uh, these are the, this is the positive coming from the valve and the negative coming from the valve. And I have to add kind of a pigtail wire to these. And uh, these two wires will become four wires with four terminals on it. Okay, so here's your positive and negative coming from the fuse box. And these are the two wires coming from the valve. And you can see I've added uh, a pigtail to each of them. Um, and now it's ready to wire. Um, if you don't have these terminal connectors, I recommend getting a little kit like this. Uh, it's really helpful for van build. I use them for all the DC connections. I'll put a link in the description below for those. So now I have the positive and negative connected to the two middle terminals here. Now I'm just going to take the positive and the negative here and connect them to the top positive here and negative here. And then I'll take the two little tails coming off of them and crisscross them to the bottom terminal. So the top will have positive here, negative here, and the bottom will have negative here, positive here. So the inverse of the top. And that'll allow for um, the polarity to reverse when you flip the switch. So I'm gonna connect everything and I'll show you what that looks like. So there you have it, it's as simple as that. So now um, you flip the switch one way, valve stays open. Flip the switch the other way, valve stays closed. Um, the valve underneath the van, the specific one's pretty cool because it doesn't use any power to keep the valve closed or open. Um, it just uses a little bit of power to move the valve from open to closed and then it just stays um, in that position. Um, so I'll have a link for everything in the description below. Um, please like and subscribe, it helps a lot and um, we'll have some more videos coming out soon. Thanks, bye.